morning folks welcome back to another video so I'm, I'm still in the car because uh, I got up here quite early and uh, as you can probably tell from outside it's still quite dark so I'm just chilling in the car until um, the light comes up a bit but this morning I'm um, going to try photograph some tuft ducks I think I think in my last video I photographed the um, mandarin duck Beautiful duck, beautiful feathers, um, gorgeous colours, oh, beautiful bird, and I got some lovely shots, kind of so side profile with the reflection. Um, it's kind of it's kind of wanted me to photograph some ducks again this morning, so um, I I think I know where there's some tough ducks. I photographed the tough ducks before. Yeah, they're a beautiful, beautiful duck. They kind of have a a yellow. Uh, yellow eye and really contrasting colors with the black and the white uh, and they have um, this beautiful tuft of hair kind of like a like a ponytail on the top of their head it's it's it's, it's really cool looking so that's where they get their name for their tuft tuft duck is the tuft and the tuft of feathers on the top of the head so yeah that's the plan for today um, now last time I was here there was a male and a female so I don't know hopefully today hopefully today now they're they're still here I think it's been a few months obviously it could be anywhere but um, I have a feeling they're still going to be here today so that's me just being positive um, I think I have another hour left until the light is good enough to get out and uh, try get some photographs but hopefully it's, it's quite windy today. I can feel the wind coming through these windows. It is quite windy. So, uh, it shouldn't bother me too much. It shouldn't bother me too much. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling positive for today. So what I'm using today is, same old setup, Nikon Z62. The Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary. Now, ugh. I did bring the 105 mil macro, uh, just in case the ducks do get quite close. I might try get some because um, I can go to I can go to with the focal range. It'll go to about 2.8, so it'll let out nice light, and I get some nice blurred backgrounds with this. So, and uh, you get a little bit more detail. A little bit more detail photographing with this lens than the Sigma one of oh, the Sigma 600, and uh, I always keep the little wide angle in the bag just in case. Probably won't use this today, but I always keep it. But yeah, I have the tripod in the boot. Um, so yeah, I'm all set. I have everything. I'm just sitting here waiting for the light to get a bit better, um, and I'm gonna wait, make my way down to the pond. And uh, hopefully the tough ducks are there, and uh, hopefully there's a male and a female, and uh, really going to go for some nice shots today. Want to get some nice low angle, just like I did with the mandarin duck. Get down at eye level, try get some nice reflections. The only thing is, it is quite windy, so the wind kind of doesn't have the when it's windy with the ponds. The water doesn't be so still the wind moves the water and you don't get that beautiful reflection but uh, the pond that I'm going to there's quite a lot of trees around it so it might repel that wind a bit so I don't know only time will tell but uh, we just need the ducks to be there I just yeah tough ducks are beautiful bird absolutely beautiful the yellow eye and put the tuft on top of their head they're, they're class looking Hopefully they're there. So, right, I want to chill for a bit, and then I'm going to make my way down to the pond. So, uh, right, I'll see you down there.
So, I made it to the pond. Um, beautiful pond. Has an island in the middle. Um, I don't know if you can see, but what we have is we have some grebes, there are some coots, um, more hens, and just over there, probably can't see them on the GoPro, there's some tuft ducks. Now I've identified them, I know they're there, and there is, there's grebes and coots and more hens and other types of ducks, but the tuft ducks are here, which is great. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm um, not gonna go chasing them now. I know they're in this pond, so I wanna wait for a bit better light now because it's still a bit too dark to take any photos. So I'm gonna leave them be for a bit. I'm gonna find a nice spot where I can get quite low because I can't really do it here because it's quite steep. I have these quite steep banks. But I think over the other end, there's a place where I can get low. And uh, what I'll do then is, I'll get all set up and uh, I'll just, just relax. And uh, hopefully the um, tough ducks will make their way around and I'll get some footage and I'll get some nice images. So good few hours this morning anyway so I'm in no rush you can probably hear the wind in them trees and that's what I was talking about earlier you can see the water's not still it has those waves because of the wind so you won't get those nice reflections unless you find some pockets in the water where it's nice and smooth um, but right I'm gonna find somewhere where I can get nice and low and uh, I'm going to get all set up and uh, hopefully we get some nice photos of these tough ducks today. I know that now that they're here, I'm, uh, I'm in a lot better mood now that I know they're here. But, uh, yeah. Sorry, I just seen something up there. There's a few ducks corrugating up there. Found this great little spot here look where I can get nice and low brilliant and the background here see that background that'll make for a lovely background real textured you have some dark really dark greens and then um, some really black spots as well which will make the birds stand out so, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Right, I'm gonna get all set up here now. there the light is quite bad the trees are covering a lot of the natural light coming in so I'm gonna move down a bit I won't be able to put the tripod so I'll have to go handheld and get down in my hunkers so you're gonna get quite low for some uh, stills images so I'm gonna move 
gonna go right here actually. Uh. So I'm gonna take it off the tripod and I'm gonna go handheld off here, shoot down this way where there's a bit better light. So hopefully the ducks will follow me down here. feeding them now so they've all ran away from me but uh, let me show you some of these folds flip these around oh, the camera got some lovely ones of the the males mainly um lovely dark background and uh, the white and the feathers kind of look a bit very overexposed, but they're not. It's just the GoPro. There's a few ones. A few ones I really like. Love this one. It's really, really dark. It's quite sharp as well. You can see there. There's just nothing but darkness in the photo. And he... It's a lovely image. And there's the female there. Got some nice ones of the female as well. Lovely light coming from above on that one. That's the female. There's a lovely one. You can see the tuft coming down the back. Really like that one. Nice movement in the water. You can tell he's moving. That's a really nice one. And there's one. Let's see, can I find it? There's one I got of him kind of cleaning his feathers. Where is it? See this photo here? So I got one of them in complete darkness cleaning his feathers and just the way the light was hitting it. See the purple? Lovely bit of purple just as the light hit it. Completely black background. He's just tucked in cleaning his feathers and the purple there, the yellow eye. Absolutely love that photo. I'll definitely throw those images over on the website, Sean Mead Photography. I'll leave a link down below. And uh, also on the uh, Instagram page. Well, the Instagram page is Sean Mead Photography. The website is seanmeadphoto.com. I'll put the links down below. I'm tired, I need a coffee. So, anywho, thanks for watching. And sure, I'll see you on the next one.